Number five. First up on the list is the Wilderness Systems Recon 120. This boat comes in at 12 feet, 2 inches, with a width of 38 inches, weighs 95 pounds, and has a 450 pound weight capacity. This seems like a great boat to start out with as it only comes in at $1,199 and has the option for you to add a pedal drive later or a motor later. Um, it is compatible with the Helix drive from Wilderness Systems that can be purchased separately later. Uh, you also have the ability to store rods on the inside with that big front hatch as well as countless other things in that front hatch. It's got nice little tackle trays kind of to the right and left of you where you can throw spent lures and stuff like that, kind of keep it organized, let lures dry out before you put them back in the box. Has a huge tank well in the back with some nice flat areas so you can lay your uh, rods and reels horizontally and let your reels lay flat on the deck right there. Uh, you have two really long tracks on the left and right in front of you to mount rod holders and fish finders and all your accessories. Seems like a great starter boat. Uh, nice open platform, very customizable, lots of flat surfaces to add tracks and accessories as well as built-in tracks. Uh, nice big front dry hatch, standing pads, nice stadium frame seat, uh, looks very comfortable. Looks like you can mount a power pole in the back as well and definitely some rudders for when you add a pedal system later. Uh, it looks like a very good boat to start with that can grow with you versus having to replace it in a couple years, uh, which you'll see a lot on this list. Uh, just great paddle boats, but if you want pedal and all that stuff, you'll have to buy a different boat later on. This boat can actually grow with you, so I think this is a great value at that price. Number four. Next on the list is the Bonafide RS-117. This boat comes in at 11 feet 7 inches, has a width of 33.5 inches. The whole weight is around 77 pounds with the seat, and the capacity is 425 pounds. Uh, this is also a great starter boat for most people. You're getting a lot of features of the more expensive Bonafide boats, um, like that design of the hull that allows you to have a good stable platform as well as something maneuverable and somewhat fast so it's a good all-around boat especially for fishing for standing and fishing um, it does give you standing pads they are a little bit cheaper than what is found on the more expensive bona fides there is a dry pod it is not removable like the more expensive uh, bona fides the seat is similar but again a cheaper version or a less expensive version but it is still a stadium style frame seat. Uh, you do not have a dry hatch in the front. You have a like second tank well with a bungee net over top, but the bungee net does double as a paddle park, so you don't lose that feature. Uh, you can add a power pole to it, but it's custom. It doesn't have the pre-drilled holes like you have in the, the 127, so this is more like the 107 in that aspect. Uh, the, the back tank well is designed exactly for a black pack or a five gallon bucket. It can accommodate coolers and everything else too, but there are inlaid molded in spots for the black pack, which it can be mounted in either direction. All in all, this is a great starter boat. It delivers a lot of features from the more expensive boats, but in a package for $1,100. Number three. At number three, we have the Vibe Shearwater 125. This boat comes in at 12 feet 6 inches, 35 inches wide, and weighs 82 pounds, with a max capacity of 475 pounds. This boat is also a great starter boat, very similar to the Wilderness System Recon, as it does let you add a fin style pedal drive later on by adding a pod. Uh, the pod is separate and the drive is separate, so that's two things you have to buy to install a fin style drive. Um, it does have spots to mount power poles. You can add a Bixby to the rudder on the back. So it can be motorized, it can be pedaled, but it comes in a paddle version for $1,499, which is the very top of this list at that price range. 
uh, big tank well that you store coolers and black packs and everything paddle park in the front the front is very similar to the bonafide rs 117 with that net cargo net kind of thing going on it does have a stadium si uh, style frame seat uh, you can add a uh, summit perch which is the standing pad so you can fold the seat down and stand on top of the seat to get a higher vantage point while sight fishing so this could be a great boat for you to, to grow with you buy it as a paddle version for $1,500 you can add the motor later or the pedal drive later or maybe both you want to pedal and then have that motor for a backup um, it does have an ultra fast hole design so not as stable as something like uh, the Bonafides or whatever with that catamaran style hull. And this boat will be plenty stable uh, and very versatile to add pedal drives and motors later on. It can grow with you and a pretty good value at $14.99. Number two. And at number two, we have the Bonafide SS107. It's a great little boat. I've actually owned two of these. Uh, maybe in the market for another one. I really love this boat. I can't say enough good things about it It's super stable super nimble uh, pretty light comes in at 10 feet 7 inches long 34 and a half inches wide and has a 75 to 85 depending on if you have the seat in it or not pound uh, boat uh, has a weight capacity of 425 pounds and It gives you pretty much all the features of the SS 127 with the removable dry pod a pretty fairly big hatch in the front for such a small boat a big tank wheel in the back to fit black packs and coolers and stuff like that that really comfortable bona fide SS seat which is probably one of the most comfortable seats I've sat in in a boat um, it does come with the deck pads just not in the tank well like the 127 does but everywhere else it has them uh, so that's a premium feature that you you don't get on most kayaks from the factory yeah, and it has pretty much everything that you would find on an SS-127, but in a package that is relatively cheaper and lighter for $1,449. Number one. And at number one, we have the Old Town Sportsman 120. This boat comes in at 12 feet long, 33 and a half inches wide, around 85 pounds, and has a weight capacity of 415 pounds. Uh, this boat comes with standing pads, the nice frame seat, uh, was formerly known as the Topwater, which you can see in this video, but since then they've got some upgrades to those standing pads and seats. Um, it is rudder capable, so you can add a rudder later, uh, which you can't do on the 106, so there's a benefit as well as the bigger weight capacity and more room to the 106. It's a very stable boat and coming in at $1,149. Uh, it's a great buy. It, it's on the low end of this list, but it provides a lot of features, a lot of the weight capacity, the frame seat, the, the larger size and the 12-foot boat that a lot of people look for, and also has great features like an awesome dry storage hatch in the front, those long track mounts on either side for fish finders and rod holders and things. Uh, it does have one front-facing rod holder for to put your uh, rod in while you're rigging or getting a fish off the line uh, has two rear rod holders and at this price at $1,149 I think it gives the best price to performance ratio because it does come with transducer mounts on the bottom so that you can run your transducer you just have to buy the dry hole fittings uh, it comes with rudder ready so you can add a rudder later and with adding a rudder you can add a Bixby to it so you can make this thing motorized um, so at that price to performance, I think you can't go wrong, especially with Old Town's lifetime hull warranty. 